Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D you can build your own falloff shader with just a few clicks? In general, a falloff shader calculates the deviation of a polygon normal from a selectable direction, let's say the world y axis, and visualizes the result with a color gradient. Let's have a look at our example, this blanket on the couch. The more the polygon normals, the small spikes here, deviate from the world y axis, the darker the shading gets, and the more they correspond to the world y axis, the whiter the shading gets. In this scene, the falloff shader is used as a plain visual trick to emphasize light coming from above, but falloff shaders are also great for masking effects such as dirt or dust, etc. In Redshift, there is no ready made falloff shader, you have to build it for yourself. But it's easy, we just need four nodes. First, we need to determine whether normals of the blanket are actually looking. For this, we create a redshift state node. This determines the status of various values, in our case the polygon normals, or where they are looking. As reference system, we choose world. To be able to amplify or reduce the evaluation of the normal direction at this point, we use a vector change range node. To achieve an equal amplification for all three possible axes, we change the old range min value to minus 1 and leave the new range min value at 0. Now we just have to pick the correct color of the result. To do so, we create and connect a color splitter node. We are interested in the color green since it is the general equivalent of the green world y-axis. To translate the green values into a gradient, we create a ramp node and connect it to the green output of the color splitter node. By this, the values non-green and green get remapped to black and white. Now we have converted the deviation of the blanket's polygon normals from the world y-axis into a color gradient. Our fall of shader is finished and ready for use. Please have a look at the finished project Light is Just Fine Now via the link below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D every Wednesday on this channel.